I will tell you about my study on strain-oriented strategy on uh, um, management of patients undergoing cancer treatment. And uh, you know that uh, in the oncologic field, a huge progresses are made in the um, therapeutic field so that most of the patients can have a survival that can get up to 95%, especially in some cancer like uh, breast cancer. So one of the most limiting factors of this uh, therapy usually is like the cardiovascular disease induced by this kind of treatment. So we try to have a new approach in uh, detecting this kind of disease by detecting uh, a subclinical dysfunction of the left ventricle. You know that usually the ejection fraction is the parameter that uh, for our colleague, the physician that are non-cardiologists are uh, taking care of. But when the drop of the ejection fraction below the 50%, that is a cutoff value for the left ventricular dysfunction, when it occurs, it might be too late. And sometimes is not, the patient will not recover the full ejection fraction. So we are focusing our attention in the subclinical field for this purpose. And we propose that uh, following a drop of 15% from baseline value of global longitudinal strain, we can start therapy uh, by AC inhibitors and beta blocker so that we can keep on continue with the chemotherapy protocol and uh, to guarantee the survival in this patient. So we found that we have a, a, a great reduction in the percentage on overt uh, heart failure induced by chemotherapy protocol. And then of course we need a multi uh, randomized multicenter study with the case and control to um, probably induce this kind of um, uh, technique in the common practice, like the sucrose study. We are waiting for this uh, result. So, but basically, uh, this kind of approach that uh, go behind what's suggested by the guideline can help the clinician to fight the cancer.